Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Team check. Yep. Here are those new earrings. No, I got them around Christmas because I bought a little, like, it came with a bracelet or something mm -hmm. that I sent to Maddie. Mm -hmm. But you I didn't think, the earrings? Yeah, I didn't think she'd wear these earrings, mm -hmm. but they seem to go with a lot. So. They do. I agree. Bang. Bang. And I'm wearing bang, bang. this little hedgehog earring. It's actually an earring. I do vaguely earring. remember those. I think you bought them in England. Yeah, they're so. cute. Hmm. Fun. It makes a good yeah. yeah. Cute. I'm only just wearing normal stuff. Um... We, well, I mean, we're going to talk about what we're wearing in a minute. We'll let everyone tune okay. in. But first, we're going to talk about our Sunday afternoon. No, it was late morning. Yeah. When 11. we had our um, our Fiberside chat with Longmont. Yep. Yes, with Stephanie Pearl, Pearl McPhee. McPhee. Yarn and we're hoping that a, some of you out there were on the call because if you weren't, you missed, <laughs> you missed, you a good missed one. it. There it was, was good. five, I counted how many people were on there. 540 people they on a pretty Zoom much thing. maxed out i guess there's they had a to max. get an, they had to get like an additional allotment for zoom oh did they mm -hmm. okay so it it was people from all it was it was yeah. really good and she is so good mm -hmm. and funny I've, funny but she did a really nice job of um she basically gave everyone a little bit of a like a just a, a lecture well organized all kinds of stuff about the benefits of having a knit. Having a knit, sitting down and having sitting a Sitting down and having a knit. Yeah, it's amazing. I just, I, I mean, I, I didn't bring my, I wrote, I actually, I it's on my notes. phone. Some of the funny things that she oh. said. We, um, she, she said, if anyone in the audience was a neuroscientist, you know, she was paraphrasing a lot of, but actual research. Um, and, oh, so good. It's all things that we instinctively know as knitters. Right. But, um, but but these were studies to prove studies it that it knitting really and other repetitive visual what's the other word I don't know spatial spatial activities are really good for Code your brain for knitting right right <laughs> it is I mean they used other ones mm -hmm. as an for their example. actual research well the actual that one that that she talked about where the students were just like. Plink, 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 plink on the keyboard, like oh, the same yeah. <laughs> keys. That's a repetitive mm -hmm. thing, but at least for knitting, when we do it, we're actually getting something done. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's a nice way to prove to our respective spouses and children who sort of scoff at you for spending mm -hmm. your time knitting. I'm like, well, it's what really are good. you doing? It's good for you. <laughs> yeah, and I'll do a blog with some links actually from her. Right, that will. Um, Kind of, so if you want to go in. Also, Stephanie Pearl McPhee celebrated her 18th blog anniversary. She's been writing her blog wow. for 18 years. Yeah, yeah. So the Yarn Harlot is, it's a fabulous blog. She has lots of books. She's one of the original good. bloggers. She actually won like international blogging awards as the top blogger back more in her early days mm -hmm. before it got really popular. But yeah. She's really good. So it was, it was very very good. Excellent. So, so we knit on. We knit on and what is it? Keep knitting and carry on. What's the Keep phrase? Keep calm and knit on? Yeah, she had that on, on her that was just on her poster back there. It wasn't there. knitting. It was just no, it keep was calm just, and carry on. Right, but that was mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, it was good. So we'll talk, we'll write about that. Hmm. And um, it was Yeah, it was and good. so when we put out the Fiberside Chats... I would oh the next one is Alistair like Quinn mm -hmm. and he is like the master at double knitting mm. and I've heard about him mm. for a while so he would be really True. good to to talk to mm -hmm. so to listen yeah to. listen to those yeah. those fiber side get chats to talk. yeah those fiber side chats are are worth your time they're good yeah so and we anyway we've talked about it before they're yeah. good you should yeah anyway we encourage you all right so okay first of all. What pattern are you wearing, Sue? I'm wearing the holiday slipover. What about you, Linda? I'm wearing the holiday slipover. Wow. Like same sweaters from different knitters. Wow. That must be our <laughs> knit along. <laughs> I feel like a potato chip. <laughs> so um, so we are wearing the sweater that we're doing for our February knit along, mm -hmm. which we're calling the potato, the potato chip, chip knit, -along. knit along. And why? Because we don't think you can knit just one. And actually, this one is number two. And I'm already pondering number three. I'm pondering number two. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I wonder what that will be. 
I don't know. I'll keep well, it posted. Mine is made of Rowan Tweed Haze. Beautiful yarn. And one strand of mohair. Gorgeous. So Tweed mine's haze. more like these two together. Yeah. All right. And yours? Mine is Dream from Loopy Mango. With some alpaca linen, which alpaca Dream linen. is a worsted weight. Mm -hmm. And alpaca linen is a worsted weight too, even though it's lighter and fuzzier. So I love it. I'm happy with the results. And these two, this combination is what Susan Germer is doing. Mm -hmm. So I sort of described my first one as the Papa Bear because it's a little heavier density. Mm -hmm. And then this one I talk about as Baby Bear because it's really light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. And Suze is the Mama Bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just right. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just right, but... They're good. They're and so oh my gosh, I think we're at like twenty two or twenty three people. I know we just put it out just doing a, last like week. A, yeah, so doing the potato chip knit along. Our little bags of potato chips are here. Yep. Um we'll start on February fourth. We'll do our first drawing for the gift card from all the participants. Right. We'll do that every week. And we'll then have a grand prize drawing for for like for, everyone all together. Oh, I thought it was going to be like whoever knits the most. Well, that's another one. Oh, okay. There's a lot of draw. There's a lot of prizes. Okay, so okay. it's really worth doing. <laughs> <laughs> and so, don't worry. I know I'm yeah, on number we're not three. Involved. We're not. We. I don't get a prize. We don't get a prize. But anyway, it's fun. It's a. It's a. It's a good pattern. And there's. It's fun seeing all the different combinations that are going out. And too. um, we've learned a lot mm -hmm. while like trying to figure mm -hmm. out different yarn combinations. So we can we're we've become pretty adept at helping mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. find the right combos and the right yardage, and we've got lots of tips and tricks on picking up mm -hmm. and casting off. And the fun thing too about it is people are coming in and they're kind of you know looking around on their own. Would this work? Well, yeah, of course. You know, it's yeah. it's fun for us. Anything too. will work, yeah. really. It's um, yeah. it's just the you know, in what combination mm -hmm. to get the gauge. Because it is on a size 15, so it works up pretty... I I think I knit this in a week. So, I think, yeah, mine was right at about two weeks. Right, so... Um, yeah, I think I was doing My next one, I'm thinking too. orange. Mm. You have a lot of that blue. I know, so I realize... Don't do another my blue sweater. My lopy stopover is this color. Mm -hmm. And then my descent that I'm doing is has this color in it i actually i actually used some of the yarn to do like a little crochet um edging on mm -hmm. this because i just needed a little bit more like structure right there so it matched perfect oh funny. Even know. yeah <laughs> just go into the stash and find well, the it's blue the very perry very perry <laughs> indeed hey okay uh, that would lead us into something that could even though it's down on the list it's down on the list but i well, feel like we could talk about it no, we'll, we'll stick okay, to the list. Okay, we'll wait. Okay. okay. So, um, also, okay, that's the potato chip knit along. Official start date is February 1st. On Friday the 4th, we're here till 8. Come and knit, hang out with us. It's always a good time. Yep. Um, on March 4th, which is the next first Friday, we're here till 8, and we want to show and tell. Right. Like so. a party. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, so bring anyway. them all in. Bring them in. Okay, yes. so that's you get a that. Discount on your yarn. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Yeah, you do get. Yeah. 15% mm -hmm. off your yarn. Yeah. For and that bag of chips. Yep, and Come that's on. worth it because it's Tim's Cascade <laughs> chips, and they're really good. Mm -hmm. I can vouch okay. for that. Um, all right, so the other thing, we have just a few more days left in January, and yeah. a few more days to sign up for the Raise Your Bar Challenge. Which has been pretty fun. Mm -hmm. People, we've got, how many did you say, like 35, 35. people that have kind of officially signed mm -hmm. up. And doing the official thing, It you let us know what your challenge is. Later in the year, we're going to have a fun tote that everybody's going to get, mm -hmm. and don't worry, you get the tote whether you completed your challenge or not because mm -hmm. it will be yeah. halfway but it's really fun because we're seeing everybody's yeah and they get you make up your own challenge we're not going to tell you a lot of it is um i want to finish that sweater mm -hmm. i started i want to someone um, came in with a she wants she was challenging herself to finish a ufo one a month so that's a good one that's a good one i could potentially do that yeah <laughs> Um, we might not want to go know too if far I into have that one. <laughs> well, though, that I have to finish. I mean, the, yeah. Anyway, so there's that. There's we've already been contacted by one of our California customers. She's got 
the project picked out. I mean, her challenge was to w make something from one of two books and she's sent us a picture of the sweater she's picked out in the book now. And it's just, it's, I mean, it's good. We're ke everyone's keeping each other accountable. I think. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think I mean I personally have not started if either. If you do my Instagram yet. or social media, just use that hashtag raise your bar because mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a really fun one, and we will try to post as many as we can um, when people, mm -hmm. even if they have questions about their challenge or just starting their challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's I just don't want you to have a lot of pressure that you have to actually finish it. It's fun if you do. And I think good for our brains if we do. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I think it's really fun to have a goal in mind. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So that's that. Um, tote bag. Okay. Oh. Uh, what was in that first box we sent out? Boy, was that a couple so, weeks ago? Uh, we, mm -hmm. you know, we do a subscription box, mm -hmm. the On the Rock subscription box. And so this year it was, you know, one of four different color slash drink themes. Mm -hmm. And so uh, our friend Verna got one of the boxes, and her color was Hot Toddy. So that is the orange color. There's which, the, there's oh the project. God, it was called, it is called Nightcaps. It's a Thea Coleman Thea pattern. Coleman. The cool thing about it, it has got a lot of, it's cabled, obviously, but she's got different options. I'm not sure, I think it has to do with the time. Like, there's 11s and 10s, so it just kind of depends on is this showing up well yeah oh yeah closer so we can see those uh so, those so there's cables. different ways to knit your cables so there's really different fun. options so it's really fun and verna said it wasn't hard and she um, dove right in yeah a lot and of people do, dr we've just we know right of in. two others that are totally finished i'm yeah. sure there's there's more i'd love to see the comparison in what cables they picked but this one has mountain meadows alpine mm -hmm. which is a beautiful yarn and it's pretty obvious that the stitch you know it just shows stitch off the stitch work yeah is great uh yeah so that is fun thanks for sharing this verna it's really pretty um i know leslie came in on friday hers was done and it was a beautiful turquoise color oh yeah they're all yeah. they're gonna they're very pretty so if you're looking for a fun little hat project um this nightcaps pattern from thea coleman is a good one it's great. Yep. And the Mountain Meadows, it's on our website, so you can pick your color yep. from there. A nice worsted weight. And yeah. you've got a, a cute, a cute hat. I'll have to try it on. It's really cute. <laughs> That's cute. very fun. Nice. Yep. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. So, and if cabling is one of your challenges, yeah, this would be there a you great. Go. Uh, we have another class coming up oh, for cables too. Right. That would be really that is good. a segue right on yeah. the list. Okay, right. <laughs> Gabby Cowell workshop. So, if cabling is something you want to learn how to do, we have a workshop scheduled for February fifth. It's is it two the fifth? hours in the morning, okay. and um, you'll two. use big chunky yarn. You won't finish this cowl in two hours. But you'll definitely get into the cables. So you'll kind of get the gist of it. And learn how easy cabling is. Um, and fun. Twisting stitches is good. So Lindsay's teaching <laughs> that. And it's got a fun little drawstring. Mm -hmm. Keep the air out. Keep the nice. cold air out. Cozy. I love Look the at color. all these Rasta colors. I know. Pretty. Yeah, it would be really fun. So I think we've... And I had a couple sign-ups already, so... Yep, and then Merino number 5 would be another really nice option for yeah. it. Big wool, probably, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we've got choices. Choices. Uh, Gabby Cal Workshop. Also, this isn't on our website yet, but on the 5th, we're starting Resurrecting the Kids Club. And that first one is January or is February 5th. Okay, we better get that up yep. there. Yeah. Um, and so Carla's going to be back doing that. I know yeah, so that's kids. for... You don't even, they don't have to know how to knit. She's, um, she's got all kinds of different crafty things that mm -hmm. she does with yarns, but it's really fun. The kids that have been coming have really mm -hmm. enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been good. Okay, so um, that's that workshop. And then we're going to digress over to, back to Very, Very Perry. Perry. So Very Perry is the, or is the name of the color that the Pantone people have pegged for their Pantone color of the year 2022. It's a beautiful periwinkle. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. It's like a blue with a little bit of red in it. Anyway. 
Very and hairy. this is our special color that we had two sisters, a yarn company dye up for us exclusively. We're calling it Very Perry Valentine. Yep. So Jolene, we gave her um, a little palette and she chose some colors from it. The Very Perry is in there. And of course, because of Valentine's Day, we added some sparkle. Sparkle, that base. So, um, and and Jolaine, Two Sisters Yarn Company is right here in Billings, Montana, in case you don't know that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, and that, we have a limited number. We it's do. It's a pre-order. Um, you'll get it by Valentine's Day uh, and possibly later this week. <laughs> <laughs> really? Just, okay. Um, but anyway. So that's super fun. You know, self-striping sock yarn is awesome to work with because you're always wanting to see what that next stripe looks like. Yeah, there's kind of a deep hot pink. There's mm -hmm. taupe. There's, there's like very, a khaki. Very peri. Very peri. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Awesome. She does a really good job. And so they can pre-order on the website. Yes, yep. they sure can. Mm -hmm. right. Yep. Limited number. Yep. Okay. And then well, along of with sock, sock yarn... yarn We've brought in our back some yawul. 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 Okay, sock yarn. That's a pretty little tray. It is. I love the colors. I know. We did, <laughs> we did good, a good job we? picking our colors. So yawul basically is kind of like a mini, I mean, one skein will make a sock. Right, you'll need two skeins. Okay, this one though, basically Maybe. one skein will make a pair of socks. Yeah, right. Um, but not super long socks. But anyway, most hand dyed sock yarns you can buy a skein and make a pair of socks these guys are designed to get two to make a pair of socks or do stripies or you could do fine use heels contrast accent. and we're um the happily knitting sock guys which we have mm -hmm. their book mm -hmm. they love this yarn too and they use it all pr pretty mm -hmm. much throughout their whole book laying yarns for us are are good yarns i mean yeah they're we're using them in in our projects our sweaters i love it okay yeah. also have do you have ethos, to use this yarn for socks no no you can make a hat you but can look. make mittens yeah okay um well What's there is the one bonus? thing interesting about these <laughs> so in every one of these skeins, there's a little surprise. And it's very practical. Mm -hmm. I have to get it out. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm going to say this. If you're a girl? I'm going to say it. If you are a girl, this won't be too hard to take out. <laughs> is that yarn washable? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is. So Look! Technically. Reinforcement. We don't. Okay. Nice. Yeah. And it, yeah. Oh, it's a color match. It's yep. a, yeah. Everything will match. Reinforcement wool for your socks, so you can carry it into the heavily used areas of your socks, like your heels. <laughs> what? That's it's not sorry. a tampon. <laughs> I know, but it, it's the same size. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this yarn is here. Yeah, so each one of these has its own special tampon. Reinforcement. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs that. Um, but yeah, so that's in, um, we're happy about that. And what else? Is that it? I think so. Okay. Yeah. That's it for today. All right. Is it? Okay. I think. <laughs> okay. So limited number of this, yes. of this right. special Valentine yarn. Yeah. That will probably be mm -hmm. gone by the time we see you. Yeah. Again. Week. Yeah. 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 And a couple things to sign up for, um, for February. Sorry. Can't get the tampon back. <laughs> As you know, that doesn't work either. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you next, See you next week. week. Bye.